the first time I heard the word philosophy, I suppose, was at school, where it was very much in the context of history, um, of you know, looking at how did the modern world develop. And it was interesting, I suppose, at some level, to be aware of the fact that we've got where we are, however good or bad that is, not just because of battles and um, political alliances and all of those things that you learn about in history, but also because of ideas. Um, and one of the things, I suppose, about philosophy is that it's important to understand uh, not just the way we think or, or you know, how, ca how can you get a systematic way of thinking about things, but also uh, it's important to understand the way we are, I mean, simply what makes the modern world modern. It's a lot about reflection and a certain critical questioning attitude to things, a certain scepticism, a certain doubt vis-a-vis -vis everything you see around us. But that has a very positive side to it as well, because if you don't stand back and, and stop taking things for granted and, and sort of question things, you don't really value and appreciate things. So it gives you a freedom. Philosophy, strictly speaking, is about having a freedom vis-a-vis -vis yourself, other people and the world. The idea of supposedly trying to get a job when I was uh, going to college was something that uh, was supposed to be very difficult. Now it's like supposed to be impossible or whatever. So you sort of think, well, if it's supposed to be that difficult or something supposedly impossible, why not just go for something that you really would like to go for? This just seemed to intrigue me. In other words, I just saw this thing about philosophy. I saw this first month that I actually went to the lectures. I went to find out more about it. And I thought, there's something about this that's interesting. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe it was that I thought that I could be taught to actually think for myself. Maybe it was that I could delve into something that I had never got the chance to have a look at in, in, in school. Maybe it was something that I thought could further my whatever. I don't know. I don't know what it was. I really haven't got a clue. I don't think I was as calculated as to think into the future. I just thought there and now, that sounds pretty good. I like the English as well. The two seem to, seem to complement in some way that actually appeals to me. One of the modules I teach is called the Hitchhiker's Guide to Philosophy. It's a very radical kind of module because in it we expose students to kinds of questions and kinds of arguments that they probably never encountered before. Everybody agrees that art is a very complicated thing, and yet most people have a sense that they know what it is. What I like to do is to play with that certainty and to push students into asking themselves, do they really know what it is? What's so important about the fact that an artist's hands lay on the work? And if that's so important, what would we say about music? where there is no original in the same sense at all. Philosophy is not just about asking questions though. Philosophy is part of a culture, and that culture is a very old one in which the great philosophers have contributed many of the ideas that continue to inform the modern world.